I'm show care fitness expert Wendy Batts, and today we're getting ready to have another incredible workout with Mike. His routine consists of a lot of full body exercises, so we're going to do those, and then we're also going to do one in particular that involves a ball and some dumbbells. So if you're joining us at home, just grab whatever equipment you have available. We're going to do about 10 to 12 reps of all the exercises, and you're going to see one such as the burpee that is extremely challenging, and we're going to work our way up to where it's going to be a breeze for him long term. Another thing I want to talk about is his cardio routine. We do cardio at least five days a week. Um, he does anywhere from 30 to 60 minutes, and we vary it up each and every time. So sometimes he's doing the bike, sometimes he's on the treadmill. We also include things such as going out and playing in the park and then using something such as the Jacob's Ladder. So if you're joining us at home, make sure that you're also adding in your cardio routine. Another thing, it's diet, cardio, and resistance training. So make sure to include all three components in order to succeed and get to your weight loss goal as well. So let's get started. Make sure that your arms are out in a comfortable position and that your head is always in front of your hands. Another big thing is to make sure that your feet do not touch so you'll still be hip width apart. Tummy in really, really tight and you squeeze your glutes at all times. That'll help make a straight line. So if we look from the side, we wanna to try to keep this as level as possible. So go ahead and go down for me and then make sure you press all the way up through the rib cage and then down and then up. perfect. So he's gonna sit back just like he did um, in a squat position. This minimizes the stress of the lower back. He's gonna take his left foot and point it forward. So you can, there you go. And then bring it back without touching unless you need to and then point it forward again. So the big thing is, is making sure that you keep that bend in your hips and what we're looking for here is making sure that he stays off the arch of his foot. When you balance train as a safety, you wanna keep the kneecap over the blue part of the tennis shoe. So come out, good, sit back a little more. There you go, and then bring it in. So when you go from side to side, the big, um, the most important component is making sure that the foot stays straight and that you land nice and soft. So go ahead and dem demonstrate a few for me, good. You're gonna notice that Mike's stepping from side to side. This is the best way to start the workout or the exercise if you've never done this to make sure that you feel comfortable moving the distance. So this will allow you to start teaching your brain and body how to keep your feet pointed forward. And then as you feel more comfortable, you can kind of start adding a small hop from side to side. And then you can later on speed it up. So he's gonna go down nice and slow, bending at the hips, keeping his left leg straight He's going to pause at the bottom, really focus on squeezing the left cheek, and then stand all the way up, look straight ahead, and then he's going to press up with his right hand. So go down nice and slow, and you can put that back on your hip. Sorry, I'll get out of your way. So the right leg is there to help um, make sure that he, he keeps his balance. So if he needs to tap down, which he's doing right now, to control it, that's perfect. Um, come all the way up. Eventually, he'll be able to lift his right side up and then really focus on working at that arch of the foot, which is what we did in balance training as well. So Mike is going to roll down onto his head and shoulders, making sure that his toes stay pointed nice and straight. So when we do this one, the knees are going to be together. Come a little bit closer. Good. And we're making sure that his toes are lined up with his knees and his hips. The entire time, we're going to make sure that he's squeezing his glutes. So squeeze, relax your head. Good. And we're going to go into a chest press. So when you're going into a chest press, keep it right over your chest. I mean, keep in mind that if you were to lose your balance, you never want to drop any weights or anything over your face, right? So you're going to keep your hands here and then slowly just come down to about a 90 degree angle here. And he's going to go as low as he can control it. So down towards the ball with his elbows. He can go past 90 if, as long as his form doesn't break and then comes up. So you're gonna step out. Right. Good. You're gonna keep the right leg straight. Good. And then you'll actually push off and meet back onto your right foot. Good. Now when you're doing this exercise, a couple things. You're gonna notice that Mike is staying where his toes, his knees, his hip, and his shoulders are in a line. Oftentimes people step out too far, and then when you do that, it puts a lot of stress right here. So don't, don't come out quite that far if you can't control it. So your entire body should be over the leg that you're on. The opposite leg, so go ahead and go out for me. This leg needs to stay completely straight. You're going to feel an awesome stretch on the inside of your, your, um, your leg. But the big thing is, is when you're doing it, all your weight will go over to the left. Feet always stay pointed in a forward position. And then you meet back. 
So in a lunge, your glutes or your hips will come back and then you come up. Now try a couple with the balance. See how you do. So sit back, legs straight, and balance. <laughs> it's a lot more challenging, but that was a great shot. Try it again. All right, so out. Legs straight. And back. Hands down, kick out, come in. Good, so you'll see him shift back because we're working on his flexibility. And then, good, so when you jump, start um, shoulder width apart and just jump this way. There you go. Soft and landings. Soft landings, always. Cradle that landing, it's easier on your spine. So out, in, good. Spread your feet apart and then just jump straight up. Excellent.